First Nations across Canada will protest in unison tomorrow, a national day of action in the Idle No More movement. On Vancouver Island, at least one protest is threatening to shut down a major transportation artery. CTV's Stephanie Sherlock has the story. She joins us now live with more. Stephanie. Hudson, the grassroots Idle No More movement shows no signs of slowing down. What will be slowing down, though, is traffic on the Pat Bay Highway tomorrow morning. Idle, they are not. Having already brought the message to travelers heading to and from the United States, and most recently to downtown Victoria, Centennial Square. This is one of the only ways that we seem to be able to get attention to our issues. Uh, uh, we're pretty well ignored and uh, the government has, has uh, tried to make sure that we remain invisible to the general public. And marking Wednesday's National Day of Action, the message is being carried on to the Saanich Inlet. Hundreds of Idle No More supporters are planning on meeting on the Sail First Nation at around 11 o'clock and then marching here to the intersection of Mount Newton Crossroad and the Pat Bay Highway, where they will then block traffic for an unspecified amount of time. Make our point, I guess, and uh, let the people know what, what uh, we're so dissatisfied with regard to our Douglas Treaty, the lack of honoring of our Douglas Treaty, the lack of recognition. This treaty is over 150 years now. And they're talking about modern day treaties when they haven't even honored the existing treaty today. They are protesting the Harper government's Bill C-45 and what they say is disregard for Indigenous rights. I think the action can be best or better described as uh, doing more to ensure that we have a voice out there. We've already said many times it's not just about Aboriginal people, it's about all our all our rights as Canadians. Including the right to demonstrate, one of the only rights they say they're still freely able to enjoy. The government of Canada allows us to exist life, but they don't let us live life. And though traffic will be blocked for a time on the highway, West Saanich Road is an alternate route protesters will not occupy, claiming they want to be heard, but don't want to be disruptive. Uh, what I'm hoping to see is that people are going to continue to support the Idle No More movements, no matter what they're called, no matter where they are. The Central Saanich Police Service is advising that you leave yourself time if you're planning to be in the area of Mount Newton Crossroad and the Pat Bay Highway tomorrow morning. There is also a demonstration at Mayfair Shopping Centre in the afternoon, we've just learned, and a public forum in the evening at UVic titled Idle No More, Where Do We Go From Here? And that likely won't be the last of it. Activists involved with the movement say, don't be surprised to see events taking place well into the summer. All right, well, we'll be there in the morning. Stephanie, thanks. You're welcome.